this is what you call detective work. There's dirt on your nose. What have you been doing? Hmm? Gonna find out. Could be it right there. Gotta go check the fence line. Cause you see what they what they do. Now she'll try to dig her way out sometimes. You never know what you'll find in their little playhouse here. Dead chickens, dead rats. Oh, I think that's what the what it was. Yep. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So, all right. Welcome to my job. <laughs> well, now we made it here safely. Anyway, well, just ordered lunch, and I figured I'd share with you where this place is, and uh, you've probably heard of it. And it's called the Kona Brew Company. It's not usually my first choice to go, but uh, the reason I do choose it is because it's walking distance. I can pretty much walk around the parking lot and go get it. Uh, not much places I can go. I don't like to take off and drive anywhere because I might lose my parking spot because this parking lot is hell, as you'll see at the end of this. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's anyway it's a small parking lot, and we usually and people use it and they go somewhere else and it leaves no parking for the people that work here or the people that want to shop here. So anyway, uh, usually uh, if I can get a parking spot, I keep it and stay there, so I don't like to go anywhere. Uh, every now and then I do take the chance and I usually lose the spot. Um, but their prices are a little high for what they're offering but anyway I'll go ahead and show it to you I ordered the nachos no meat uh, personal size about 10 bucks hopefully cross your fingers that's the other thing about them they kind of mess around with the prices a lot so we'll see okay so just got back I think I got my Hawaiian Sun green tea right there not sure what that is. Never had that come with it before. We'll find out. I'm, I think that's actually cheese. Let me see. I think that's what that is. <laughs> I've never had. All right. This is um, obviously sour cream and salsa. Take a look at the nachos. Again, I ordered the personal pan, so it's or whatever, so it should not be. Um, all that uh, large. Now, see the problem is like I when I'm not trying not to complain about them, but I ordered this one time, and they and I you, you gotta order. You can either order with pork or chicken, and I don't I don't take either from them uh, you just because it just costs too much but uh, so I had to tell them you know don't put any no you know so I was kind of worried about this time I didn't know if they were I said you know just the cheese and chips and I was hoping that they didn't just smother the chips and cheese and I was it yeah, but they, they didn't uh, they did give me some of this extra stuff for here I'm not sure what it is uh, I've never had that come with it before but here's the sour cream and salsa but 
it's a decent place if you ever visit the uh, uh, Kona here in Hawaii it's not bad I mean definitely uh, give them a shot I, I wouldn't continue eating from them if it was terrible so I'm off work as you can probably see by the background <laughs> uh, just outside enjoying being off work I guess yeah and here's another night and lately for some reason I've been staying up late I don't know uh, what it is I don't really want to take any more uh, those uh, sleeping pills because they make it rough trying to get up in the morning so I haven't been liking that but anyway yeah it was kind of uh, steady in the beginning of work kind of tapered off in the end kind of usually how it does work <laughs> and then there was nothing but a friend of mine came by at the kind of last hour it's good to see him again yeah I know he's been busy a lot he works a lot he's a uh, um, local law enforcement so it's uh, yeah, I know he's just constantly busy so anyway but it was good to f see him and he uh, I got a cool video coming up for the main channel I'll uh, try to get a video on it and, and go about it uh, gingerly as people like to put it because it's probably gonna stir up a little bit of ruckus and uh, yeah because you know what it is it's a broken Glock and I mean it's broken like so that's gonna be interesting to show that's it you guys I uh, did not get a chance to film any of the uh, grease updates because I didn't get home till late and that stuff is outside and didn't want to really battle the light so We'll check it out tomorrow and see what it looks like. We'll do that first thing in the morning. So we'll do that right there on the vlog. You'll see it first thing in the morning what that grease looks like. And uh, also tomorrow is Friday. So uh, it's, we're going to be doing the JW's radio. But of course you won't see it till uh, Saturday. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, with, with tomorrow's radio. Putting some things together and uh, getting some uh, topics to talk about, right? <laughs> anyway, I did go over to my friend's place tonight and had a good time. We just kind of hung out a little bit again, you know, just kind of touching back bases with a lot of these guys. And uh, I got to go visit my other friend too down the road. We're all a bunch of same same bunch of buddies that we've all known each other. We, I met each other. We met each other through each other. <laughs> what am I talking about? Ah! Okay, so anyway, I gotta go check him out and uh, went over and tried this stuff called the Kraken. It's a rum, spiced rum. Absolutely horrible. Um, I'm a bourbon and whiskey guy and this stuff was nasty. It is some sort of spiced rum. I'm gonna insert a small clip of me trying it right here check this out uh, yeah I I'm not gonna show the rest of it because I pretty much spit the stuff back out in the cup black spiced rum but you said this is good yes it was awesome and after all wait you didn't even open it it's open huh it's opened liar no it's opened I swear to God it's been opened it did not just do that just because it's... Okay, 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 wait a minute, whoa. That's head cracking. I know it's... Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, not a very awesome drink. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, kind of a short vlog today, but that's gonna be kind of it. Um, I did some other stuff, uh, goofing around in the in the office or in at work, so uh, just kind of looking at some stuff and uh, just kind of goofing off. So I'll throw that footage in at the end of this vlog. You can laugh at it if you want. Uh, basically, it's just me joking around about the 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 3D archery target. It's like okay, you know, it's like this like foam styrofoam or whatever foam pig that you shoot with your bow and arrow and people are like complaining like oh it's got a scratch on it oh it's got like this little section whatever it's like you're buying this thing to destroy it uh, the first time you shoot it I mean it's gonna have rips and scratches in it I, I just uh, it's just not something you're putting on your wall as a mantle and you're like admiring it for its quality and craftsmanship this is literally a foam 
animal thing shaped whatever anyway I'm gonna get out of here you guys it's late and get this video uploaded for you thanks for watching and I'll join you join me tomorrow for Friday's vlog should be interesting and the uh, I'll try to see incorporate you guys a little bit more of the behind the scenes of what's going on with JW's radio before it goes up all right I'm here with my little friend this is the 3d target archery it's a little pig here and uh, people are complaining about well it's got like little scars and stuff on it like this and uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, when you shoot arrows, I mean, you're buying this thing to destroy them. What in the hell happened to this person's parking job?